A transformer with a fucking bazooka's at the back. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Welcome to another episode of Lost in Culture. We have finished our escapades in Tokyo and now we are visiting the culturally rich city of Kyoto. The first place we are heading in Kyoto is Arashiyama, which is what you probably think of when someone mentions Kyoto. It's the natural, more traditional side of Kyoto with the picturesque views, the temples and the shrines. We arrived at the busiest time of the year, autumn. As you can see, everything is orange and it's pretty beautiful to come at this time. The first activity we had in store on this trip is Iwatayama Monkey Park. Our day was full of optimism and excitement until I saw the path towards the monkeys. I don't want to go now. You don't. Look how steep it is. Think of those calves. Huh? I've got no calves. Yeah, that's where you should go. Huh? Develop some car. Catch me outside, how about that? I don't want to. Huh? No. Ah. You want to climb Mount Fuji and walk to Kyoto in... Yeah, but I'll be mentally prepared for that. I woke From up Tokyo. thinking a nice little stroll in the woods to see some monkeys go home. He didn't do his research. How are you enjoying your walk, Ryan? How are you enjoying the walk? You didn't even let me fuel up on breakfast, eh? I'm breakfastless. I I'm didn't doing this. not let you do it. Oh, yeah. There's like leg days. Look at these. What are those? It's not made for it. Come on. If we sprint up, then it's done quickly. Yeah? yeah. Go on then. He got far. So this is what we need to look out for. Apparently this is an angry monkey. This is a scary monkey or scared monkey, I think. Um, yeah, the scared one looks fucking terrifying, not gonna lie. The I will just jump down if I see that. I'm not even gonna look it in the eye. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed by a group of monkeys at any time. This is their territory, so I don't know. Our first monkey, you can see it in the shadows. Look, he's jumping. When we got to the top of the mountain, there were monkeys absolutely everywhere. Running around, playing with each other, scratching, a lot of scratching, fighting with each other. They were everywhere. They were super chilled and not aggressive towards humans at all. Maybe each other a little bit, but you know what they say, monkeys will be monkeys. Did they say that? No. For me, the best part of the monkey park was this hut where you could go inside, which let the monkey be in the wild and free and you inside the cage. And the monkey has the option to come to you and be fed. This was a brilliant idea because I'm not really a big fan of zoos and keeping animals trapped. But this way, the monkey has the choice and you can feed him and enjoy yourself without exploiting the animal. Even though this experience is marvellous, I am human and I was a little bit irritated that I had not eaten that day. So the first thing we had to do is get some food and get some breakfast. My sole intention after the monkey park was to silence my grumbling stomach. Luckily we bumped into a street food stand quite quickly. As you can see they sold a wide array of grilled meats. From fish to pork to chicken. I was pretty hungry, so I didn't want to risk anything, so I just got the chicken. Yeah, you can't go wrong with chicken, right? I got the chicken skewer. I mean, Lin Lindsay's happy for me to have food, you know? Yeah, he's been really hungry all morning, even though we saw beautiful monkeys. And he blames me for the fact that we didn't eat, but I don't think it was either of our faults. But as soon as he's got food in his hands, he's all better. We have a sweet soy chicken. We've all got leek in the middle too. Spring onion it looks like to me. Look at the view. There's a little herring there. Or some sort of herring. It's beautiful. 
after eating it was like destiny that there was a cafe right behind me but this wasn't any odd cafe this was a matcha cafe which was on my list of things to do the staff were really nice and accommodating and the location itself was opposite the river in a nice bright and open space <laughs> we got the afternoon tea because we're british this came with matcha scones and a salted whipped butter and chestnut caramel to put inside. This combination was insane. It had the perfect balance between sweet and savory, which just hit the spot perfectly. We didn't stop there either. We just had to get the matcha ice cream, which was super delicate and not that sweet at all. The ice cream was unbelievably Moorish. If you come to Rashiyama, I urge you to come to Chavati. You will not be disappointed. It's really nice, not too sweet. We made our way to one of the most photographed forests in the world, the bamboo forest. The forest is huge and we walked around the forest for a good three hours. There was an option to take your own personal rickshaw and have an insanely strong Japanese man carry you through the forest. However, we opted not to go for that option, but whatever floats your boat, I'm not gonna judge. There are also some temples and shrines to visit within the forest. And in some cases you do have to pay, so it depends on whether you think it will be worth it. Having said that, we did pay for one and it was totally worth it. But one thing I really wanted to do, which would have been beautiful this time of year, was the Sagano Romantic Train. We had just missed the last train and we would have had to wait two hours for the next one. So we cut our losses and continued on with our day. If you are there, try and do it. I think it's worth it. We ended our day with a boat ride. We didn't have to book this in advance. We found a stand just outside the entrance to a Watayama Monkey Park and paid there. I remember it being very cheap. The boat ride is super relaxing and it's the perfect thing to do after a long day of walking. You just sit back, relax, and take in all the beautiful surroundings. Halfway through the ride, another boat comes out of nowhere and attaches to your boat. They then serve a variety of snacks and drinks, including sake and beer. No money. If you want to take in the view, float and munch, this is definitely the thing to do, especially in autumn or cherry blossom season where the environment truly comes to life. So this was our trip to Arashiyama. If you liked the video, please subscribe, comment and give it a thumbs up. Our next trip is to the Inari Shrine, so stay tuned for that. Cheers and stay blessed.